Hey what's up, it's Chris and in this video we are going to build this friend suggestions feature in React. So the point of this is to show you how to build an image carousel using React. So here a user can see all the suggestions, we can see four at a time. The next, the next page basically shows us four more until we reach the end and then we can't see more but then we can go back and see all the previous people we've seen. So this is kind of a copy of what we see in Instagram, the discovery feature where you can at least see people you can follow depending on what Instagram thinks about you. So anyway, we are going to do this using React and we are just, just going to use Bootstrap for the styling to make it easy and quick. So without further ado, let's just get started and build this bad boy. So I'm here in my VS Code. We are going to use the create react app tool chain to, act, to actually scaffold out our project. This will set up a project for us. We won't have to go into configuring your pack and all. So what you need to do to get create react app, make sure you have Node.js and that will come with npm. So use npm to install create react app. So you will do something like npm install minus g create react app create react app. So this will give you a, a CLI for create React app that you can use. If you're on Mac, just make sure you add a sudo or Linux, but on Windows, you don't need to do that. So now let's use create React app to create a, a React project. So create React app, I'm going to call it suggestions. So it will go ahead and create my app. So once that is done, we can now CD into our, our new app. Then we are going to install some things. So yarn, add, basically we need bootstrap. So bootstrap. We also need React Slick. So React Slick is the library that will give us the slider component. So React Slick. So also we need to install Slick Carousel. This is going to be able to give us like the styles and layouts and all. So Slick Carousel. So Carousel. Yeah, so this is all we need. So add them. So once that's done, now we can open the we can open the project in our text editor. I'll be using VS Code for this one, but you can use any that you would like. So okay, so here we are. Now if we run yarn start, if everything went correctly, we should have our local development server set up. And everything is well and set up. Let's first do some cleanup of these files. So in the app with this is where we're going to be working for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and remove this head out. Then we just need to first bring in bootstrap, which you can do from which you can import. So import bootstrap. So it's called bootstrap, then you need to go in its this folder, then Look for slick. So this bootstrap this CSS then bootstrap the CSS bootstrap the CSS good. So we also need to import this slick CSS for the car also. So similar thing. Import slick cursor. Slick cursor. So it's in a folder called slick. Then it's called slick. That's CSS. Okay, so we also need to import the theme. So basically, I'm just going to copy this and then paste it here. Then what needs to change is a slick also slick slick dash theme. That's CSS dash theme. That's CSS. So oh, I'm just going to come here and, and put an H1 to see to test if Bootstrap is set. So let's see. I will adjust the setup for H1. Same field to compile. Can't find slick also. Slick so right here. Now we are just missing out something. So slick also yeah, should be like this. Let's see. Slick also slash slick slash slick. Let's see, let's see, what are we doing wrong? 
Speak also if we check our package JSON file, we have speak also here. Make sure we have the correct spelling. Okay, hopefully we do. Slash slick slash slick dot CSS. Okay. So if we check again, we have this or oh, looks like we have some other CSS that seems already in there. So Upload CSS, this is also pretty neat up to have nothing for now. But you can see we have the styling for bootstrap. So well and good. Now what, what we're going to do basically is create the state of, of, of our <coughs> our users. All the users that will appear in the list or in the carousel or we're going now to store them in states. So const now I'm going to use React hooks here because I'm in a functional component, so it's the best place to do it. So I'm going to call them suggestions. And then so with React hooks you, you kind of have to name what will contain your state and then a method you can use to change it the state. So this function is going to call it set suggestions. Just like that, then you set it to use state. So use state, then use state text in an initial state. So how you want these suggestions to start out as so I want this to start out as an empty array. So right here we need to import use state because it's a named import in the core use core react 16 plus library so use state just like that so from there now we need to to kind of have a way of populating this state so still i'm going to introduce you guys to one of the other react hooks which is use effect so here we can do use effect use effect we need to import it also so this basically returns a function of which in the function body we can do all that you want to do. So in here, basically what you need to do is, is reach out to an API and get all those users. So I'm just going to use the JSON placeholder. So right here, I'm just going to replace to or to import use effect too. So here, what we need to do is use fetch. So fetch then the API is going to be JSON placeholder. If you guys have interfaced with it, it's very popular. So fetch is very promise based. So we do dot then, and then this one we have to like map it to JSON. So raise then we kind of so the first two then we basically map out a type. So we need to map it to, to JSON. Then in the second dot then we can have our data. Okay. So here now we can now call this method, this function here to actually set out what the suggestions will be. So set suggestions and then the value we give it, it will know to set it to the suggestion. So we are just going to set it to Let's see data basically that's going to be it so data just like that so terminate it and now oh, my formatter is basically playing games on me anyway that should be fine so we're going to go ahead and set up like the settings and the settings will include everything that will tell how the colors of the so this the speed is basically saying how how fast we want it to animate in and out then the arrows basically are the arrows to click and scroll to the next page so the side to show is what you see what okay the number of items you see at once on the page then the slide to scroll is basically what we see on the next page so define that setting then you are going to be able to kind of add an h6 up here that will contain our title so in here we are going to do a check for if the suggestion are if the suggestion have, have not been populated and basically have no suggestions at that point we want to show a spinner so this is a bootstrap spinner then if we have basically we have friends in the list so then we can use our slider component so it takes in the settings prop. So the settings prop, we just pass it in. So in the slider, now we can map through our 
suggestions and display each one as as an item so then we close out our slider one of the things we need to note here is as we map out images don't come directly from the api so what we do is use the unsplash api so this gives us a random image if we give it some random character so we basically use the 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 current id of that of that user the one we get from the json press holder then we send another request to the unsplash api with that id so this gives us some random image for every item that we have so then we just pick a name from what we get from the press holder api and then that's what we display then notice that we have like in your contacts this we just set it in there just to have the kind of the same feel so from there we need to import the components still so import it from there let's see so save that if we go to our browser now notice that we have the item setting the css is just missing a bit so for the css if you just go to your app css file so in the css file let's start by styling the body by giving it that color not quite white but just want to pick up what instagram has so also for the cut we want to give it some more some more styles just to make it stand out a bit because we want each cut to be 20 pixels we want it to, to have some padding on the top so also the cut title we want to override some of the bootstrap styles have it look the way we want so from there let's have the container element we want it to so we want to leave here some space on the top some margin on the top so let's give it 100 pixels on the top then for the images we want them to be in the center so that's why we add the display property block and then margin auto that puts them in the center then we have arrows here but they are unable to show and so you can see my hover effect it shows that there's something so i need to turn that to black such that the user can see them properly so we select them from this so this is a class that's built into stick that's the one we use so from there set it to black from there so the button now you see it's a regular bootstrap button but we want to kind of get this this is like grayed out a bit so just change its background color make sure you override the built-in bootstrap so save that and to check again we basically have our guy set up fine so if we zoom out a bit we get our margins ready so if we reload Let's see if our loader is working fine so it comes up first so from there i'm just going to give you like for the like for the bonus just to so you might want to adjust this setting at runtime basically to make it responsive so what you do is added another responsive property and then you give it an object of configurations so you take a breakpoint so basically you would want it when it reaches that breakpoint now that setting changes just like that very easy to configure i hope this was helpful Please like and subscribe if you like the video. I'll see you guys in the next video.